sleep. While the finger models on Michael are constantly visible, the same cannot be said for the other characters in this video. I wish I didn't have to give a sin for attention to detail, but such are the times we live in. Afton's palm stub spazzes out for a solid three seconds. The animator really needs to learn that having your character wear clothes as dark as the background just isn't a very clever idea. It makes Michael just look like floating limbs and pants. For one frame, Michael's hair becomes brighter. Michael's arm is clipping through his torso. This would be a good time to send all the clipping in this video. I know we don't usually do logic sins, but why does a hospital let a man take his dead son's body? Hospitals will usually take care of the body and take it to a local morgue or one of the father's choice. What kind of business is this hospital running? Michael's skin is so reflective that the light from his upper body is bouncing back onto the bottom of his head. He looks like he's either made of metal or just super sweaty. Michael's eyes are now glowing cubes when they should be inside his eye sockets, not outside of it. Then again, he's dead. Who cares? The lighting choices in this scene weren't thought out very well. For one thing, the wood on the sign is bright and visible, but the rest of the exterior is faded into darkness because of the poor choice of color. Also, those street lamps should be much brighter. Stripes on the wall stop before the door, and are also inconsistent in the space between the door. Welcome to your office, settle down and take a seat. Please pay no attention to the terrifying screams. Afton bounces up way too much here, and then doesn't ease back down. His head also rotates incorrectly during this scene. You should be the warriors of the boss that's on the phone. This scene has super strong ambient occlusion corner shadows, but not on Afton for some reason. It makes him stand out, and not in a good way. Afton's palm is Z-fighting with the syringe. You are not alone, the we Whoever photographed this picture needs a whooping. Henry isn't even looking at the camera. Furthermore, why did Henry decide to frame this picture? Henry has low standards. No, not the paper cubes. Not the paper cubes! They are there. Again, not the best color and lighting choices done here. All the characters' hair appear black here because of the high contrast and blinding white wall. Charlotte doesn't look too happy about it herself. Actually, I, I can't tell if she's happy or not. This face is confusing me. And, they are <laughs> and now Afton's thumb disappears, adding three more sins for all the times Afton hand glitches out in some fashion. Charlotte has a separate hair cube just like Elizabeth did in the last video. Charlotte's body folds into itself before she lands. You thought I wouldn't notice the floor changing texture? It went from wood to andesite. Charlotte's arm shrinks between frames, as she was not next to a piece of wood before. There's some weird border glitch going on with the pizza in the back here. Either that or the pizza's getting moldy from being left on the wall for who knows how long. Henry is still in the background here without any animation. Also, I feel like at that distance he would be able to hear Afton throwing his daughter onto the floor. time of day completely switches during these two shots. On the first shot, the lights are on, and in the next shot, all the lights are off and the place is only illuminated by moonlight. Why are Charlotte's tears a different color than the raindrops around her? It makes it look like her tears are dyed. Even more poor color choices. Her hair blends in with the background. I'm just gonna add five sins for all the rest of the poor color and lighting choices in this video. These raindrop cubes just poof out of existence shortly after hitting the floor. Afton just killed the cameraman. Charlotte was on the ground, so this could be the only explanation. The lids of the present box have no follow-through when they open. They just instantly freeze into place. The puppet is really shaky here. I'm assuming because of the center of gravity control having messy tangents. How does Charlotte know where the other souls are stored? Why are they in the parts and service closet? This doesn't make sense, and none of it gets explained. Also, I'm pretty sure that in the games, the toy animatronics don't get possessed by souls. And again, with the super bright souls. These are so bright that it's hurting my eyes, man. Tone it down a notch and you'll get the same effect with less bleeding eyes. This soul was spawned in just for Mangle. What is this camera framing? You can't see the whole character. The top of Mangle's head gets cut off. 
Wait, so now the soul infested animatronics can have their eyes, but in the first video they didn't? The puppet isn't centered on the screen and it's killing my OCD so badly. We came so close but we just couldn't make you one of us. Congratulations are deserved at 6 a.m. you why would Afton draw round-headed, normal limb stick figure humans on this whiteboard? Shouldn't they be square? They are For all that crying he was doing, his face looks only moderately disappointed. Well, you can only hide so this is not the face of a scheming serial killer, but a man who's wondering if he left the oven on. So Tangents on this camera are done wrong, and it makes the camera wobble back and forth in the beginning of the shot. Also, why are Henry's eyebrows not subdivided like all the rest of the rig? Afton's knife is Z-fighting. Mangle's head is no longer present on his model. When Mangle scans for Afton, the external effects are missing at the beginning of the shot. Somehow the security guard didn't notice the pile of mangled metal crawling and clunking towards them, and no one reacts to this hunk of animatronics suddenly coming to life. Mangle bites off a chunk of the guard's brain through his chin? Okay. Mangle's limbs snap into a different position. The security guard has proper motion blur except on the very first frame of the shot. I know we send the poor lighting, but there is no excuse for this. These characters are completely darkened when they're in the middle of a bright room with white walls. Glowing eyebrows. This shot is missing its color grading on the first frame. The puppet can apparently use the force now. The gift box closes itself. This animation here is super snappy. Ew, 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 make it stop. Stop it right now. You can see Afton's arm switch from inverse kinematics to forward kinematics here. Henry drives away without starting the car. The sign turns all on its own. I think it might be haunted with plot convenience. How does any of what just happened help bring Michael back to life? How? That doesn't make any sense. Well, it just so happens that your friend here is only mostly dead. In conclusion, this video was better than bringing us home from an animation standpoint. On a story standpoint, however, it was harder to follow and felt nonsensical at times. The lighting was one of this video's biggest downfalls as it hindered its storytelling. On a good note, the animation was nicely synced with the music. All in all, a pretty good watch, and a nice animation by 3A Display. Hold up. Out of ideas, we're closed. Let me take care of that wound for you. Organic material secure. Hello. Hello.